let's start with Gemini AI. To start with Gemini, first we need Gemini API key. In my previous spec order video, I explained how to obtain one. Let's see the process once again in case you missed it. So to get API key, let's open this URL to so, copy this. Now here to create API key, we need to click on this create API key button. Let's click this. Now here we have two options available to create API key. First this one and second this one. The first option will only be visible if you have not created an API key before. In case you have already created an API key and want to create a new one, you will see the second option. I will demonstrate the both cases of creating API key for you. In the first option to create an API key for Gemini, simply click create API key in new project, this button. It is a quick and easy process that only takes few seconds to complete. Now we have Gemini API key and we are ready to use it in the spec coder configuration. So copy this and we can paste it right here. And it is ready to use. Now let's see the second option. So close this and refresh the page. Now let's click on this create API key button. Now because we have already created an API key, so this time it has shown us only the second option to create a new API key. And this option is little different. First we need to create a new project in the Google Cloud Console. So in the new tab, let's open the URL console.cloud.google.com this one here we have this generative language client that it has automatically created when we have created the first Gemini API key now let's create a new project by clicking this create project button and here we can give project name anything we like for example let's say spec coder and click this create button it will create a spec coder project in a few seconds it's done. Now we can close this tab and go back to Google AI Studio. Right here in this input field, search for the project we just created in the Google Cloud Console. In this case, it is Spec Coder. And here it is. Select this and click on this button Create API Key for Existing Project. And now it has generated a new API key for us. And use it in the spec coder configuration right here. After entering the API key, the next step is to select AI models. And there are two options available. Gemini AI model for chat and Gemini AI model for auto complete code generation. And the drop down displays the models supported by each options. You can select any model based on your preferences. Now let's test if this is working. First let's make sure we have selected Chat AI Assistant Provider Gemini and Code AI Assistants to Gemini. Now let's test this AI chat. Let's ask this AI Power Chat what is the array.map method. And here we get the AI response with proper explanation. Let's test the AI autocomplete feature also. So here let's say we have a file index.ts and here let's say write a function to add to numbers. Immediately AI has generated the complete code for us and press tab to accept this. Let's see one more example. So function add to array and here it has completed the code for us. How cool is that? Mm -hmm.